She was the mistress of the former Italian dictator who was executed alongside him. Clara Patacci was much younger than Benito Mussolini, 28 years in fact, and the two famously would be displayed dead in Milan in front of a huge crowd. The sight of their bodies caused such an uproar that a mob was incited, and it wasn't until the US Army arrived to calm things down that the public spectacle was ended. It was Benito Mussolini's execution, and subsequently the display of his body alongside Patacci's, that convinced Adolf Hitler to take his own life, and he then ordered his staff to create his body inside the Reich Chancery Garden. However, who was the woman executed alongside Mussolini? Today we look at the brutal execution of Clara Patacci, Mussolini's mistress, and remember to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Clara Patacci was a daughter of a physician and was born on the 28th of February 1912 in Rome. Her family were rather well off and religious, and her father worked as a doctor inside of the Vatican. However, he was a prominent supporter of fascism, and he personally witnessed Mussolini's rise to power, and he passed his love on of the Italian dictator to his daughter. Clara idolised Mussolini from a young age, and she wrote to him often. Interestingly, following an assassination attempt on him, Patacci wrote, despite being just 14, Why was I not with you? Could I have not strangled that murderous woman? Referring to Violet Gibson, who shot Mussolini as he walked amongst a crowd in Rome. She desired to be someone important in life, and she wished for a career in the arts as an actress, or of a painter. She became engaged to Riccardo Federici, an officer with the Italian Air Force, and they later got married in 1934. However, her life had changed two years before, when she first met the man she dreamed of meeting for so long. On the 24th of April 1932, Patacci and her future husband, along with her mother and sister, were travelling from Rome to the sea, and along the way, a red alpha Gran Turismo Zagata passed them by. Sat in the driver's seat was the fascist dictator Mussolini, and Clara, or Claretta, who had sent him a number of letters, recognised him, and they began to follow him. At some point she managed to speak with Mussolini as they arrived in the seaside town, and Patacci asked Mussolini for a few words, as she admired him as a dictator and as a great man. Mussolini famously was a man who enjoyed hearing compliments, especially from women, and he agreed to meet her at the Palazzo Venezia, and following this first encounter, there would be a number of other meetings between the two. It wasn't known for sure when Patacci and Mussolini's intimate relationship began, and it's estimated that it possibly began following this meeting in 1932 or 1933. Patacci separated from her husband in the spring of 1936, and following this, Mussolini and Patacci's relationship became more than just casual. The two lovers became regular visitors to the Palazzo Venezia during later 1937, and they kept their relationship secret for a number of years. There were only a very small group of people who knew about his affair with Patacci, and Mussolini was married, and he was known to have had several mistresses. With Patacci, he was rather devoted to her, more so than he was with his wife Rachel, of whom he had five children. His wife was willing to ignore his mistresses, and during his reign she was a rather puppet figure, being seen as a model and ideal fascist housewife and mother. Mussolini would regularly call Patacci a number of times each day, sometimes for long periods of time, and she was known to be rather jealous, and these calls eased her mind. Mussolini felt he could display his true feelings to Clara, and he discussed much of his personal life with her, and he said how through life he was lonely and misunderstood, and he wished to remake the Italians. Patacci indulged him in this and glorified him as a man to save the Italian way of life. For her devotion, Mussolini rewarded her family, helping her dad's medical practice and her brother's career also was enhanced by Mussolini. Her uncle was asked to paint for him, and even her sister became an actress. Patacci was given a villa where the family lived, alongside lavish gifts and the generous monthly allowance which she was gifted. As the Second World War broke out, Italy were allied with Nazi Germany through Mussolini's great friendship with Adolf Hitler, which began to flourish. However, the Italian armed forces were rather ineffective during the conflict, and this weakened Mussolini's regime. In July 1943, Mussolini was ousted from power and arrested, with Patacci also being arrested before being released. Patacci's relationship with Mussolini was then leaked to the press, and the benefits she and her family received were also printed, showing a huge amount of corruption existing in Mussolini's government. 
He was rescued in September 1943 with the Grand Sasso raid, German forces freeing him before he was placed as the leader of the Italian Social Republic. Clara then fled to Rome to be close with Mussolini, but things changed and many were disgusted about the relationship she had with him. She became a symbol of disgrace for the old fascist regime, and many detested her and Mussolini. For this, their relationship was continued, but was now rather low profile to reduce any threats faced to the couple. Clara Patasha remained by Mussolini until the very end. Mussolini, in April 1945, fled towards Lake Como alongside Patasci, who later joined him as they tried to cross into Switzerland. However, on the 27th of April, their convoy was attacked by a group of local partisans near to the village of Dongo. They were forced to stop, and the convoy, along with other fascist politicians, was identified by partisans. However, Mussolini and Patasci were not initially discovered until Urbano Lazaro spotted Il Duce. The pair were arrested and reunited early in the morning of the 28th of April, and it was believed that an attempt to free them would take place. A local partisan leader announced the capture of Mussolini on the radio, saying, We think an execution platoon is too much of an honour for this man. He would deserve to be killed like a dog. It was then ordered that the execution of Mussolini would be carried out, and it's assumed Patashi's was also ordered. A communist leader gave another partisan, named Walter Ordizio, permission to go and execute Mussolini, and together with Aldo Lampredi, they went to carry out the order. There are varying accounts of how Mussolini and Patashi were killed, however it's assumed that the executioners left Milan for Dongo early on the 28th of April, and when they arrived they took control of Patashi and Mussolini. Aldizio, going under the name Colonel Valerio, took Mussolini and Patashi from a farmhouse and then drove to a village named Gelinio di Mesgra. Here outside of a villa named the Villa Belmonte, on a narrow road the two lovers were ordered to leave their car and to stand by the wall of the villa. At 10 past 4pm, armed with a submachine gun, Ordizio sprayed bullets into Mussolini and Patashi against the wall and they were both shot together, instantly dying of their wounds. However, the story of Clara Patashi and her lover, the Italian dictator, did not end there. Their bodies were then taken to the Piazza Loreto in Milan, a major market square which previously 15 partisans had been shot dead, with their bodies being put on display. By 9am on the 29th of April, a huge crowd had gathered in the square, and the bodies of Mussolini and Patashi were hanged up alongside others, and the huge crowd spat at, urinated on, shot at, kicked and even threw vegetables at the corpses of the pair. It was a mob, and it wasn't until the Americans arrived and took possession of both of their bodies that the scene ended. The body of Patashi was greatly disfigured by the posthumous beatings. One of the biggest effects of Clara Patashi and Mussolini's execution was the fact it informed Adolf Hitler of his decision to take his own life. He did not want the same to occur to his body after his death as what happened to Mussolini, and he did not want his long-term girlfriend Ava Brown to suffer the same fate as Patashi. It's clear that Clara Patashi was a woman obsessed from a young age with Mussolini, and she got what she wanted in the end, the man she desired for so long, and also the vast riches that he gifted her. Her execution was hastily arranged, however what happened after was incredibly brutal. It came at a time where the Axis forces had lost the Second World War in Europe, and at a time where shortly after, another evil empire would crumble, with days later another dictator taking his life inside a bunker in Berlin. Once again, thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.